Hi, my name is Milton Lishka. I'm going to be reading for the part of Gary. And my friend here, Josh, is going to be doing Darren. And our good friend Lee is going to be reading everything. Job lot, everything else. The uh, the bits in between, he's, he's got a spoon. Um, due to health and safety reasons, we can't use a knife. Um, so we're going to start with scene four, which is no dope. And it's in the toilet, and let's go. Darren and Gary are stood in the bathroom next to the sinks. They're alone in the room. Darren is facing Gary nervously. Well, get on with it then. No way, man. What if someone walks in? Just show me already. No, I don't want to. Look, you're going to end up itching your skin or all that stuff. You have to get it off. Well, where did you put yours? In my jacket. Where else would I put it? You didn't tell me that. Well, I didn't think putting it down your pants would be an obvious choice. Now get him off and bend over! Darren blushes and turns around to face the wall. He unbuckles his trousers and lets them fall down. Gary approaches him, looking towards his ass. God, this is a mess. Don't They're all red, Darren! Don't touch it, man, it hurts. Put your hands on the wall and let me get it off! Be behind them, the door opens. You don't hear it. Alice walks in to see Gary stood in front of Darren, bending down slightly, and Darren, who has his hands against the wall, leaning down a bit. She rolls her eyes and slams the door behind her. Gary and Darren jump up shocked, and Darren lets out a small scream. Huh? As he notices the woman, his trousers is still hanging down. Uh, sorry, love. This one's busy. I can see that. I must be interrupting. And here I thought you were here for the women. We are, yeah, I ain't gay. If you could just give us a minute, we'll leave. Oh, no. I think I've given you plenty of time to do the job. I'm tired of waiting. It's you. Of course it's me, you idiot. I don't know how you guys ever thought you'd make a career out of this. Because I'm telling you, you won't get one. Well, Gary here is actually leaving. <laughs> retiring. He's leaving and retiring. Yep. Retiring? <laughs> how nice. You're going to borrow borrow it with your toy boy? Well, no, actually, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm got a garden. I've got a real passion for it. And I ain't no tie by either. Who cares? Just give me this stuff. She slowly walks closer. Gary moves to stand slightly in front of Darren to protect him. We'll do that when you give us our money. Money? You ain't getting any money after this show. You think I'm going to pay for that shit down his pants? She brings a knife spoon up to Gary's throat. Table three, we're, we're gonna miss this bit because we're not in it. There's a lot, there's Jeff in it, Melissa, Jeff, Melissa, it's Jeff and Melissa, and then Melissa. we're back to Lou, not us. Where, where we are, <coughs> where Lee will read. Don't I no longer have a light knife in it? Alice has the knife up to Gary's throat, so who is slowly pulling out a brown paper package from his pocket. Behind them, Melissa enters the- Oh, pocket. a stapler. A stapler will do. Behind them, Melissa enters through the bathroom door. She mumbles an acknowledgement to them, but does not notice the situation and goes into a cubicle. Gary and Darren and Alice stand quietly, not moving an inch, as they listen to Melissa in the toilet having a wee. Gary holds the package still and holds it back towards him slightly. Melissa flushes the toilet and comes out of the cubicle, wobbling slightly. She walks over to the sink. Ah, can I start you there? Yeah? We're not in it for a while. We're not in this for a while, so that'd be a lot of reading. <laughs> Felic Fel Felicity, Felicia, Jeff, Felicia. She don't Skip like that. people. Back, back to, to Lou. Lou. There we go. Melissa, Gary, and Darren are stood with their backs against the wall in the bathroom. They're all looking worried. Melissa's in hysterics. This is the worst day ever. It was meant to be my day. Everybody looks at Shut her. up! Hey! She's not involved! <sighs> Just give me this stuff and then we'll talk about you guys never mentioning this again. Gary moves slowly with the package to hand. It's Alice. <laughs> He's still handing, holding up the knife. Behind them, Jeff enters through the bathroom door. Jeff looks at the scene before him and shouts. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Get on! Get out of here! But don't tell anyone. You got it, man. Melissa and Jeff leave through the door, swiftly. On the floor, Alice wipes the cocaine from her face and scowls up to up at Gary and Darren. Darren is looking stupidly happy. 
Now that was a terrible waste, wasn't it? Look at this mess. Yeah, ain't it? Yeah. Thank you, Darren. You guys are the worst dealers I've ever encountered. Yeah, probably, but I've never met a dealer who thought a speed dating event would be a good idea to do it in. Now what we're going to do with this big mess, eh? I think that's the end of that bit, now we'll go back to the bar. There's happy music in the background. In the bar. Gary and Darren walk slowly past the bar. Darren's pants are back up. Darren looks up to Gary. This was fun, man. Yeah. Not like many deals I've done before, I won't lie to you. Could do this again, you know. You don't have to retire. Gary smiles and looks over at the tables where he sees Heather sat down at the table. She's twirling the flower and looking in the rose. She's looking what? More rose. More rose. Or however, whatever it is, you wrote it, man. I'm not going over there. She's looking my rose. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about me. She can be psycho. I think she's looking quite happy. All right. I've, okay. She's looking at... <clears throat> Right, can we go for that bit again? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we'll go back to. Uh, yeah, we'll just go back to. We'll skip that bit in between. We'll just go. We could do this again. You know, you don't have yeah, to. Retire. Yeah. Back to Darren. Could do this again, you know. You don't have to retire. No, Darren. I'm done. And then I'm going to walk off from him now. In a sort of moving chair situation. Well, oh, Gary, you think I got it then? There's a dealer in that. You're a fucking idiot. Okay, I'll see you around then. Yeah, you probably won't. Alice, fucking shit wanky. Tourette's. <laughs> some unnamed man, so if he ain't got a name, we ain't gonna bother with him. Um, some to some to Jeff's car, he's trying to get something on. Uh, Melissa's involved. And then we're back to my garden now where Lee here will read. Gary and Heather are sat on a blanket in Gary's back garden, looking up at the sky, smiling with glasses of fizzy white wine in their hands. Gary leans over to hold her hand and she takes it. There is a bang on the back gate which makes a jump. Oh, oh he's also uh, I'm her as well. He's Heather. <clears throat> Got hair for it. Darren walks backwards into the garden dragging a lawnmower. Gary rolls his eyes and looks at his date. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, um, it's just Darren doing an apprenticeship with me. You know, in, uh, in gardening, that, that kind of thing. Oh, that's nice. What do you think, Gary? <laughs> Looks good, where'd you get it from? <laughs> Two doors down. <laughs> he's, he's just borrowing it. Heather smiles and nods her head. They clink glasses. And Darren continues to struggle with the lawnmower. And <laughs> scene. I think you'll I think you'll find out has everything you need in that one. Uh, we all look forward to hearing from you. View at your own leisure. Take care. This has been Velton Lishka. Josh Parry. Leo. Bye bye. Bye. bye.